Good evening. I'm Natasha Berman. And I'm Steve Lacey. Eric Ulrich pleading not guilty to conspiracy charges in Manhattan criminal court today. His lawyer maintaining he will be vindicated. Fox Live's Linda Schmidt joins us live from Lower Manhattan. And Linda, walk us through what happened in court today. Yeah, well, first of all, there's Stephen Natasha. Eric Ulrich is not only a former city councilman from Queens here in the city, he was at one point a senior advisor to Mayor Adams, and Mayor Adams had also appointed him as commissioner of the city buildings department. Now he is accused of using all three of those positions here in the city to accept money, bribes, in exchange for favors. Go ahead and take a look at this video because it is from a short time ago. Ulrich in court today pleading not guilty to five indictments brought against him by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Now, the DA says Ulrich accepted more than $150,000 in less than two years in all of his positions. He is accused of taking money from a real estate developer, a restaurateur, and others. There are six co-defendants who have also been charged in this case. Most of them donated to the mayor's election campaign. Well, today, here is part of what DA Bragg had to say. Eric Ulrich we allege, monetize each elected and appointed role that he held in New York City government, each and every one. Rather than serving the public, he used his roles to benefit himself and his friends. He got a premium season ticket package to the New York Mets worth over $10,000, a discounted furnished apartment in a luxury beachfront building in Rockaway Park. He got cash and a lot of cash. Most of it, we allege, went towards gambling. And this afternoon, Ulrich leaving court with his lawyer, who says that his client will be vindicated. Mr. Ulrich unequivocally denies these charges and looks forward to his day in court where the only evidence that will be considered will be tested by the process of trials. Now, Eric Ulrich, he resigned as the uh, commissioner of the city buildings department last November. Now, this investigation is part of a widespread investigation involving gambling and organized crime. We also reached out to City Hall to see if the mayor had any response to this today. Go ahead and take a look at this because one of his spokespeople got back to us and they issued a statement saying in part that we always expect all our employees to adhere to the strictest ethical guidelines. And while we do not discuss private conversations to avoid speculation. The mayor has not received any requests from the Manhattan DA surrounding this matter and has never spoken to Mr. Ulrich about this investigation. Also want to point out for you here, one of the co-defendants in this case, and again there are six of them, is a former city correction officer. Back inside to you. Very well. All right. Thanks, Linda.